Hey, it's your boy Stu, rocking with DJ Piss. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy DJ Pest, a.k.a. The Bad Guy, and this is another episode of the DJ Pest Podcast, and we're kind of like on a tour right now, so I'm just taking a break from that to talk to some of the artists that I've been working with in this tour time, this short time, um, and right now I'm sitting next to my guy, Stu. What up? It's your boy, Stu. <laughs> I've been seeing you perform. Um, this is the third day on a tour, and I saw you yesterday, and I thought you were just coming to show love, and then you get on the mic, and you... Kill that shit, as always. Where are you from? Thank you very much. I am from Indianapolis, born in Austin, Texas. Lived there for like two weeks. Funny story. Uh, the reason why I was born there is not because we lived there. My mother, at nine months, had to drive from Indiana to Austin to bail uh, the, my seed, who gave me seed, out of jail. My dad out of jail and then had me. It was a full moon. On July 21st in Austin, Texas. So I only lived there for two weeks because uh, I was I had some birth stuff and had to stay in the hospital and then move on. That is the most interesting quick story I've ever heard about birth. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's true. Well, two. <laughs> years later, how did you get into music? Uh, years later, I got into music. Uh, I've always been dope. I've always been this dope. It's, uh, I woke up like this and... <laughs> Uh, so it started, I was 19, uh, realized college was not going to be uh, my route. Um, about eight weeks in, and then I decided, like, what am I going to do? And I was like, what if I just became a rapper? And I started writing raps, and, and I was always just too big of a pussy. Can I say pussy? You can say pussy. It's okay. I was always just too big of a pussy to put anything out there, and I didn't know how, and this was uh, many more moons ago than you might think of when I was 19, but uh, just the avenues weren't available then. Um, you know, a smartphone wasn't a thing then. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. uh, you know, things were a little bit different. And so um, I kind of just uh, put it on the back burner, joined the Air Force, did that for uh, Air Force summer camp, and then uh, got out for a little while, joined the Army, did that thing for a little while, got out, and was like, what am I going to do? And I was like, I'm really good at spitting into microphones. I'm going to do that. But what gave you the courage now? Like Life experience life experience man a lot of uh humility a lot of uh humbling life humbling i have been to jail myself three times um and un unfortunately been to rehab twice um i have uh seen seen it been th been through it uh and i've also you know you know done some military stuff as well so i'm um, thankfully nothing crazy in that but uh you know just that you get a lot of life experience meet a lot of people from different walks of life and and it's just uh Along the way, I just started realizing that I had a little more inside than I thought I did, and I was a little stronger than I thought thought I ever was. And and not only that, I'm even stronger than what I think I am now. You know what I mean? I just got to keep going, all gas, no brakes. You ride in your car. I always have to ask this question. Oh yeah. I love yeah. hearing about influences. So who are you influenced by? Let me go to that question. Okay. For, uh, so my, I'm not saying the top five, but my top five, Wayne is the goat. And I also think if I were doing the top five, he would be in the goat, or be the goat. Just his catalog's too big. He's too, um, everyone looks like Wayne now. I mean, everyone. I mean, he's even said it himself in, in, a, in a couple bars, you know, everyone. You know, it's basically cops and stuff, and, and I, I'd be lying if I didn't say, you know, I don't, you know, have talk about pussy money and weed more than I should. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? It, it's that just, was a pun. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. So he uh, uh, he's the goat, and uh, um, I was 12 when uh, Slim Shady was introduced into the world. So uh, that is the prime age for to be influenced by hip hop. So again, I'd be lying if I didn't say um, I loved Eminem growing up. So uh, that he's probably number two on my list, and then uh, a close number three, Ludacris. Okay, Ludacris speaks to my inner. And if you if you ever hear bar setups and all that stuff like that, I mean it is it is Luda. Studacris through and through. Studacris. Uh, alert, alert, the AT alien intruder. That's ludicrous. Book. But the funny anyway. thing about that is you just named three animated artists. Yes. And now I can hear that. And it makes so much more sense, yeah, right? Um, sense. Not in my top five, but a uh, close six guilty pleasure, uh, speaking of ludicrous, is Titty Boy, 2 Chains, 
Um, Titty boy or two chains. Uh, but, but it's the same guy. Yeah, but like, was you? Oh yeah. uh, no, I was fucking with him even back then. Okay, yeah, that's what I was asking. Even when he got no love, mm-hmm. and uh, then you know he became two chains and Simon with Diddy, and it was a rap after that. And he is my guilty pleasure because no one is more entertaining than that dude. No one, and no one is more entertaining than that dude. They gave him a show where he just fucking walks around, smokes weed, and talks to people, and then on Vice or whatever. I mean, he's just he's in my close top five. He's in top six. Okay, he's my number six. So then four and five. Uh huh. Uh, four and five. Um, I really like Chance the Rapper a lot. Okay. Really like Chance the Rapper, and I really like J Cole. And I know I didn't put Kendrick Lamar in there, but if I were doing actual top five, he would be in that. Yeah, I don't think um, he would be. In I, that. I rarely see people put Kendrick and J Cole in the same. Yeah, you got you to pick. Yeah, uh, and and just because growing up, I was such. I used to. I love Jay Z, uh, but I used to not listen to Hove. Because I love Nas so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so and you like, exactly you know, for a Midwest kid, for like I was involved in the beef somehow. Yeah. But uh, if I can, uh, back then, you know, you like, that was back in the park and, and Biggie days. And you, it was just all about beefs back mm-hmm. then. And you like really fell into that uh, as a fan. And I did not listen to Hova for a long time because I, can, I love Nas so much. Yeah. And J. Cole is... No, it's too. Yeah. I, I don't want to say 2.0, but you know what I mean. I know they're, what you mean. Because they're, you know, when you get to a certain level, it's all great. But, but you know, the, he is the modern day Nas. I agree with you. Um, that just means that Kendrick is the modern day Jay Z. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm listen. There's a there's there's people that <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk about it. Doesn't let me know in the comment section how you it. feel about I that. Yeah, I said it. that. Stu didn't say that. I did not say it. But I love both. At the same time, I really time, do love both. At the same time, let's let's regain our focus and get back on task. And Kendrick would be in my actual top five if I was doing like an unbiased, <laughs> like I wouldn't put Ludacris in in the top five of all time. <laughs> I would put Kendrick. Let's talk about music. Your music. What do you have coming out? Uh, so I have been the way I have been releasing music and doing albums. What I did is I starting sep- the very end of September of last year. Um, I released my first single, and every seven to ten business days, it's actually been every nine days. Every nine days after that, I've been releasing a single. Once I get to 12, first album. Next 12, second album. I just picked 12 as a as a good round number. Hit you with a 10-piece plus two, um, t- two bonus records. So uh, um, that's kind of how I picked. So my second album will be dropping when my uh, pro- uh, next project drops in like two weeks and it's uh what i do with my producer it's a little six song tape um where he he also raps a little bit and he's a good rapper so i don't uh, m- mean to offend by saying raps a little bit he's he's a good rapper but he also produces and he makes 70 percent of my beats and he no hook crook the dun, 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 dun. No, he made that um and that beat goes hard so uh yeah uh, he also raps too so we did a little six song project and I, we kind of released them like that as well every nine days and then um, after the six one releases, then we release it together as a project, so you have some something to find. But I'm also hitting you with a Stewie slow dripper on along the way. Every nine days, you're getting hit, whether you like it or not, in the face. Okay, but you're on tour, so how easy is it for you? So to I try to write a, a song a week. That's what I was doing out there earlier this morning. Smoked a little bit of weed, and uh, we got a beat pack from uh, Juhani, who's uh, who was on tour with us, and gonna meet back up with us later. And uh, as a thanks uh, for you know us all hanging out and having a successful tour, he dropped us a free beat pack. So I was kind of writing to one of the the beats outside. Um, I don't know if I'll use anything, but you know, it's something I try to write a, a few days a week, try to yeah. really uh, get some stuff out. And usually though, I end up fucking whatever I write, I record and usually I re- whatever I record, I release. How's touring life for you? I love it. I was built for it. You was built for it? I was built for it. It's, I, uh, have done the, you know, I'm a little bit uh, older than, a, than the normal artist starting out. Um, just cause I chose a different life path for quite some time, but, uh, I mean, I've done the the nine to five jobs I've done, uh, and I just am not cut out for that. The same shit, different toilet every day. Well, tell me about this. Is there what's the pros to touring life? I'm in a different crib every three or four days, and they're usually pretty dope. Um, sometimes I sleep in my car. That's my actual tour bus. So I sold my house when I was like, because I told you I'm all gas, no brakes. I sold my house, started an LLC. Um, my sister has done very well for herself. She's a doctor, so she uh, uh, has done well for herself and allows me to stay with her uh, rent free. And but pretty much, I just live on the road and travel around. I set up 
baby crib mattress in the back of the fucking whip. And I got my bicicleta. Um, and uh, I just go to, from city to city, riding around my bike, spitting into microphones, and trying to, you know, you turn up so wherever I can. You seem so happy with this shit. It's because I've been a depressed fucking addict alcoholic for a long time, and I finally yeah. found an outlet that I can do something with yeah. it. So with that being said, is there any cons? Uh, cons? Uh, it's harder to get fucking pussy on the road when your bed is a baby crib uh, in the back seat of your cri- of your car. So I just wanted to say that. So is it like because of the size of the... Uh, yeah, when it comes to crib, the crib... Literally, the crib uh, size does matter. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Stu, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This bars is, for days, even when I speak. Yeah, this is Stu. I need you to follow Stu. So, Stu, where can they follow you? At? Yeah, uh, but follow me on. Uh, for one, my music's available on all platforms. If you can spell capital S, capital T, capital U, then you can find me anywhere. Mm. Um, my music. Uh, it, some of it's goofy, some of it goes hard, some of it I try to be as goofy and hard at the same time as I can. Um, and again, that's what I tell the ladies as well. Um, that's why they don't come back to the whip. Anywho, uh, Instagram, S-T-U underscore E-Y, the number one. S-T-U underscore E-Y, the number one. Um, again, a very simple, easy one. And then I have a lot of thirsty pics on there, so if you want to see a dude's belly button and some nips... I saw that yesterday. Got a lot of those. Yeah, I saw that. Got, got I was a looking lot for some those. content. I was like, yo, yeah. Yeah. clips out, nips out is what I say. Yeah. And all my clips is nips. <laughs> yeah. We're very tired, okay, just as a collective. Um, I like to let you in into a really good piece of my life by doing this. <laughs> so you get to meet my friends. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, Stu. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So be on the lookout for Stu. Stu got a lot of music coming out, a lot of dope vibe. Music videos? Is there any music videos? Uh, so, no, that is my next, uh, when this is all done, so this summer is done, basically. Um, that's my next avenue is going to be. Uh, and then I also have, on this tour, we have uh, nice videographers as well. Who you should see been the people behind his camera. Taking uh, great video shots. And those will be released as well soon. But uh, as for, like, actual music videos for... Um, like like songs, um, that's next on the list too. Yeah, I need y'all to really be on the lookout for Stu. All jokes aside, man, this is a dope artist, dope individual, positivity all the way around. It's all love. Yeah, it's all love, man. All so love. see him on tour in a city near you, and also make sure you follow him on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You don't have a TikTok, do you? Uh, I do have a TikTok. Uh, I really don't use it because I, I don't understand it. Yeah, I don't think you should. It's I don't right. understand it. I. I I had a security clearance when I was in the army, and I didn't couldn't really use social media like that. So I just never even used uh, TikTok. So and this is where I feel like we can pause it because I want to talk about that. But I feel like this platform isn't the time to talk about that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do another episode. It might be somewhere else, like in a car or something, like behind a club where we just like really talk. Because I need to know about what he just said. But that's off the record. That's off the record. And I just want to say one thing before I leave: if you're ever having a bad day, turn on some Stewie. And I just, at the end of the day, all I ever want to do is make you smile. That's it. That just made me feel better, too. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. This was a DJ Pess and this is Stu. Yeah. <laughs>